So today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a, a pet trim on this Westie. We're gonna kind of follow the lines of the classic Westie trim, but we're gonna go a little bit tighter and shorter. I'm gonna be using thinning shears on the back. And it's gonna be kind of a pet version that people can do in their shop. So I'm gonna start out, I'm just gonna round off the feet here. And you can go fairly tight on a terrier because you really want to show that they've got these strong little feet. So I'm using my straight shears and rounding off the foot. And you just want to be careful. You don't want to expose the nails too much. It'll throw off the look of the round foot. So I'm gonna take my thinning shears, I'm using my Lightnings, which is from my signature line. They're a fairly aggressive thinning shear. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna comb everything on the foot over to one side and give a little trim up the inside there. Comb everything to the outside. To sort of define the bottom portion of the leg. All right, come here, cuteness. I'm gonna do the same thing on the front, just round off that foot. So I'm gonna start doing the back. I'm gonna be using my thinning shears. I'm gonna be doing the scissor over comb technique that I do. And I'm back combing the hair. And I'm gonna do the pattern. I'm gonna tighten up this hair around the rear here. A lot of times people leave way too much hair back here on a Westie. But I'm gonna bring all this in a little bit tighter and blend some of this down here. just so that it transitions into the leg nicely. And what I'm doing here is I'm back combing the hair and lifting it up so it stands up, taking my thinning shears and I'm evening that all out. And this little girl's back is kind of tight already, so I don't want to go too far into that undercoat. And I'm just gonna take my thinning shears and sort of top scissor to blend down into that skirt. Now one of the things that I see people make a mistake on is they start the skirt from here and it, they do it almost a little cocker spaniel-ish. And really this skirt should hang down below the outside of the rib cage. So you wanna bring this line down a little bit lower. And you wanna really define the muscle tone in that shoulder. So I'm gonna come in a little bit tighter on here. And you can feel where the muscle is. There's a little divot here where the leg starts. So you can come right in and really define some of that. Bring that right up into the neckline. Stay.
Now on the outside edge here, when you look at the profile of the dog, you want this to come straight down into the hock. So I'm actually gonna take some of this off in the back here. I'm gonna comb this hair up and just start to blend that all down. And this is slightly modified because this is a pet trim. And you can actually pick the hair up and layer some of this so that it doesn't look too profuse. Then you can pick the leg up. You want to come to this side. You can pick the leg up and just stretch it straight back and give a little bit of definition here. A little bit of angulation in the front just to define that leg. And then when you come around to the front here, you can define the front of that shoulder. And you want to leave this chest hair, but I'm coming right up into the neckline, smoothing this all out. And a great, th to get that really cute terrier leg. Come here, Nina. I'm gonna hold the leg out and separate all the hair right down the middle. I'm gonna come in and do a half circle. Right up into the underarm. Come here. Nina, stay. I'm gonna do the same thing on the outside. Pick that up, come a little tighter into the elbow. Bring that around and clean up the back of that leg. When you put it down, the leg is going to hang down and you get that really nice terrier leg. I'm going to clean up the line on the skirt. So you can see I'm squaring off the dog a bit with what I've done. So you really see that terrier shape of the body. I'm just gonna clean up some of these hairs here. I'm gonna neaten up this chest hair a little bit. Now on the tail, the underside of the tail should be nice and flat and flush. So I'm gonna go real tight on the underside of the tail because the terrier is supposed to be standing with their tail very straight and forward and you want this line back here to be very clean. I'm gonna clean up the sides of the tail so you get a carrot shape. Shorter at the tip and wider at the base.
and I'm choosing to use thinning shears as opposed to straight shears so I don't get any sharp chops or any extreme lines. I want everything to blend in. Terriers are a little bit scruffy and you can sculpt everything out with thinning shears. I'm gonna clean up. You can see this side, which I haven't done yet after I've already trimmed this side, all of this that was sticking out, I'm gonna take some of that down. And you can kind of feel there's two little bones here. So you wanna clean up that line under the rectum up to those bones to get a nice clean line so that when the dog stands, all that hair just kind of comes straight off of that. Clean up this foot here. And again, I'm combing everything out to one side. Trimming that, combing it all to the inside, and getting the inside of that foot. And I'm gonna clean up all of this in here because you really wanna kind of define this area because when the terrier's got his tail up here, you want this line to be nice and clean. I'm gonna go real tight here. And I'm gonna layer some of this hair with thinning shears. And you can see with the thinning shears, you can really trim away and it, you make one cut and it's not a definitive cut. So you can kind of go in and blend. Stay. And I'm gonna do what I did on the other side. I'm gonna lift that hair and I'm gonna neaten up that back coat. And all of this hair here, I'm gonna tighten all of this up so that it blends nicely into that skirt. And if it's not real long, you can comb it up and just come along and top scissor with your thinning shear to blend it all in. And every so often after I've trimmed the back, I comb it all down and I look at how it's laying. It should all be laying smoothly. I should see nice transition from one section into another. If I see a little area that seems a little longer, like a bubble, I know that that hair needs to be trimmed. I'm gonna neaten up the front of this leg. just to outline the leg a little bit and give a little bit more style and shape. And again, this is a pet trim. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna define this shoulder, combing everything up. And again, you'll feel a little divot here where the leg starts. And you want to show that muscle in the shoulder. So you can bring it in fairly tight here. Just 
and show the front of that shoulder there. Terriers are supposed to be powerful dogs. They should be able to go to ground and hunt. So you wanna show that they've got muscle tone in their shoulder. You don't wanna hide it with all that hair. And to do the shape on the leg, part everything. Do a half circle around the outside. A half a circle around the inside. Comb all that hair down and come up into the elbow. And then when you put that leg down, you comb it down, you've got a nice little terrier leg. I'm gonna neaten up that skirt line. And you can see the thinning shears that I'm using, the lightnings, these are a very aggressive thinner, so they cut almost like a shear, but they don't do straight lines. Much more aggressive than your average thinning shear. Gonna tighten up the side of the neck. Neaten up this bib there. Now I'm gonna do the head. So I don't like to shave Westy ears. I just like to outline the tip. And you can use a straight edge shear. I'm just gonna neaten it up real quick with a thinning shear. But they shouldn't be tipped like a Yorkie. You just wanna define those outside ears, outside edge of the ears. All right. I'm gonna start by cleaning up some of this hair in front of the eye. You don't wanna scoop it out too much. It's a terrier, so you want to give it that little scruffy look. So I'm just cleaning up some of those hairs so it looks natural. And another video I have called Layered Round Head, I'm going to show you it's the same premise. Corner of the eye to the corner, inside corners of the ears. Pick all this hair up. You wanna do a half moon. Shorter by the front, longer in the center. And because it's thinning shears, you have a lot of leeway. They're very forgiving. Pick up the sides of the ears, sides of the cheeks that blend into the ears. Make sure you fold that ear down so you don't nick it. Come around in there. Same thing on this side. Pick this hair up. Make sure you have the ear tucked away. And you can see I've created this nice circle and I'm combing everything forward. Take my thinners, blending it down into the cheeks. Stay. I'm combing all of this down to make sure that I get everything out from this line where the neck meets the jaw. And I'm gonna create a circle that goes from the bottom of the jaw line up to the back of that ear. And this can be real tight in the throat here. Just 
Same thing on the other side. Coming in along here, right up behind the ear. And you want to pull that ear forward and clean up this hair behind the ear. But you want to leave some hair on the back of the neck so that the head transitions into the body. Going to check the jawline on the bottom. Look for some loose hairs. Make sure you've got a nice circle. You want to make sure that it's not only a circle this way, but it's also a circle this way. Otherwise, sometimes you get these points that come out here. So I'm going to round that in. Now I'm going to fold the ears and clean up this line that leads up to where I outline the tip of the ear. Same thing on this side. Fold that ear, clean up these stragglies that are on the outside of the ear. When you're all done, you get a nice circle like that. You can put a little bit of chalk or some hairspray to give it a little bit of volume into the head. Get that nice chrysanthemum head. But fairly quickly, with a lot of ease, some thinning shears, you can do a nice, cute little Westie pet trim.